And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast, sponsored by Generator Supercenter of Amarillo. Well, good Friday morning, everyone. Wrapping up our most recent first alert weather event, declaring the all clear, as you can see at early this morning here, just right around the 3 o'clock hour. You can see the last of any showers and severe thunderstorms working their way on into Oklahoma. And as you can see right there, pretty robust as they work their way into that nice, moist atmosphere. But you're going to see, at least for us here in the Texas Pain, and we're looking at pretty dry conditions. Got a little bit of cloud cover there off towards the east, but really we're going to expect more sunshine than anything else as we go throughout the day. But just letting you know, early in the morning, severe thunderstorm threat making its way on out of the region. Let's dive in, take a look at your temperatures for the day today, because like I said, those showers and storms will move out, leaving behind sunny skies today. Not even expecting a little bit of cloud cover. We'll see 72 by lunchtime. Pacific cold front worked its way in from the west, so that means western counties will be just a touch cooler today. Daytime high of 81 here in Amarillo. You'll see mid 80s off towards the east, high 70s there off towards the west, dropping down, of course, into the 60s and 70s by this evening and tonight. Now, those winds are still going to be out of the west, southwest today, good 15 to 25 miles an hour, bit windier off towards the west, places like Tucumcari, Clovis, Portales, Ding, and then you can see Tulia and Childress off towards the south, getting upwards of that 20 to 25, gusting upwards of 30 miles an hour at times. So still pretty blustery out there, but overall nothing compared to what we're typically used to here around the Texas Panhandle region. Seeing those winds stay that way throughout most of the daytime hours, calming down by this evening and tonight. Now, red flag warning in effect for our westernmost counties. You'll see right there for those critically dry conditions. That's in effect until about 8, 9 o'clock mountain daylight time. Gusts upwards around 50 miles an hour, and then that pink and orange down off towards the south. That is the last of that severe thunderstorm watch. Should be canceled by the early morning hours. Let's talk about your next weather maker. Unfortunately, expecting more windy weather in the forecast. Breezy today, even windier for your Saturday. Let's jump right back into our wind tracker here going into your Saturday afternoon. Look at that there, 20 to 30 mile an hour sustained winds out of the southwest. That's going to be prompting some, as you can see right there, watching for high wind. Of course, critical fire danger and overall just nasty blustery winds out there. Gusts upwards of 40 to 50, maybe even 60 at their absolute worst. And you're going to notice, go, looking at our dew point forecast, that Pacific front pushing the last of any moisture on out of here. So it will be dry today. We'll see those dew points in the 20s and 30s. But then that dry line actually retreats a little bit going into your Saturday morning. Now, this is kind of important. For one, you're going to notice, obviously not quite so dry there down off towards the southeast. But also, that could put you in play for maybe a low wind thunderstorm risk for Saturday. Your severe risk for Saturday, similar setup. Another system is going to come through. This one's going to bring a dry line across the region, but we're already dry this time. We don't see those dew points bounce up into the 50s and 60s like it did this past event, so therefore most of the pain handle won't be in play at any point. Zooming in just a little bit, you'll see they're off towards our east, southeast. That's where you start to see a little bit of that slight risk, marginal risk in our easternmost counties. Like I said, that's all dependent on that dry line retreating. Let's look at your regional high, play, uh, high definition model run. There you see that system making its way on out of here. Nothing but sunshine for the Texas Panhandle. Then you'll see right here going into your Saturday, here comes that other system firing up scattered thunderstorm activity there in the afternoon hours. And then just like yesterday, watch what happens overnight. You're going to see right there a line of thunderstorms that do fire up. Now this could cause a significant severe weather threat places like Kansas, Oklahoma, maybe around North Texas, us here in the Texas Panhandle, really just watching those southeast counties. Maybe they catch a piece of it, but so like I said, Overall right now, chances are pretty low. And then you see that line of thunderstorms work its way on out of here. Things look quiet as you head on into your Sunday. Let's look at your seven-day supercast here as we're wrapping things up. Going to be sunny and breezy today. So like I said, first alert weather event has officially come to an end. 81 for your high, 50 tonight. 70s here for the weekend. Then we'll see 80s and lighter winds going into the early parts of next week. You'll see Wednesday, 10% chance of showers. Now, I mean, now, obviously not seeing very high rain chances there, but there is a chance the system could come through that could bring a little moisture to the area. Looking at your six to 10 day precip outlook, May 1st through the 5th. That's going to middle to late week next week. Maybe some wetter than normal conditions. We'll keep our fingers crossed, keep saying prayers for rain and hopefully just get some good old fashioned showers. But we're just going to have to wait and see and try not to blow away over the course of the weekend.